Well, I'm excited to come to you today to talk about my natural aquaponics system. I had to take a break for a little while, put a metal roof on my house, do some painting, going through refinancing. Oh, what fun I've had. That little thing standing up over there in the pile of dirt lets you know just how much fun I've been having since I started back on the my natural aquaponics system, the old shovel. Anyway, I was thinking it'd be great if I had some terrace rows. That would be the perfect setup. I was thinking today if you had a terrace row with, you know, a little bit of level and then a drop and then a little level semi and then a drop. If you had about uh, <clears throat> between four and five feet of drop from the, uh, what I've got is from the bottom of this grow bed down to the bottom down there where I've dug out is about four feet drop in elevation. I really recommend for this natural aquaponics stair step waterfall system I'd probably be better off with about four and a half feet and five would be fine uh, but I'm, I'm making do with four just because I, I got tired <laughs> At that point, I had to dig out, and you can see I've dug out uh, about two feet, and uh, so I, I wore out, and so I'm going to make it work with four. Uh, you can do the same. I, like I said, I recommend probably four and a half feet of drop between the bottom of your grow bed. Uh, actually, technically, that wouldn't be the bottom; it'd be uh, about four foot and four inches. Is actually what I have from the bottom of the grow bed. So I guess that gives you, that's about right, four and a half feet, you know, minimum, uh, preferably five. And I have come up with a system, you know, and I'd said in one of my, uh, in this first video talking about natural aquaponics, I said if you're struggling with a bell siphon, the natural aquaponic system is not for you. You need to, I guess, learn a little more, get a little bit more experience before you try something like this. And I don't believe that. I think that's taking the easy way out. And uh, I believe I could have built this system from day one with no experience whatsoever if somebody had explained to me properly how to do it. And so I think that's what's needed here is I need to explain it properly so that the average person could do it. And that's what I'm going to do with God's help. So <clears throat> the system I'm recommending is two three foot IBC tote tanks. Obviously I don't I didn't build that system. I'm taking my old system and I'm you know weaving in a little bit new and I'm gonna be bringing my uh, some stuff out from the sunroom out here merging the two systems together. I got a raft bed that's eight foot long, four feet wide I'm gonna be using here. But what I'm gonna recommend is a system from scratch. And uh, I'm just going to be talking about that system today and because obviously I'm still putting this one together and as I progress I will add on and tell you what I'm doing and why I'm doing it and uh, this just gives the the basic start two three foot uh, I'm sorry 300 gallon uh, it's four feet tall 300 gallon IBC tote tanks you cut the top out that gives you two one foot grow beds and two three foot tall fish tanks and three standard 275 gallon IVC totes. You cut the top out and that gives you three more grow beds. It gives you two sump tanks and a biofilter that you got a little valve on the bottom where you can release, you know, the water and uh, clean out your biofilter. Now I've got something I'm gonna try uh, that I'll go over what I'm doing for my biofilter and I guess we'll find out how it works together. And you may have some ideas for your own biofilter. But I'll cover that when I get to it, what I'm doing. And uh, hopefully nobody will come on there and say, well, that's stupid. And, but if it works, who cares? <laughs> we'll find out if it works. I have no idea right now if it will or not, but that's what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and I'll explain it later. But that gives you four, as I said, I recommend, you know, three to four to one. So we'll just go with uh, four to one is what I'm recommending. You can build whatever you want to, but 
<clears throat> that gives you two three foot tall fish tanks gives you four media grow beds and one four foot by 40 inch raft bed <clears throat> and uh two sump tanks and a, and a biofilter and i recommend uh the 13 about a 1350 gallon per hour pump <clears throat> going by what i was using last year uh, Easy Pro makes a 1350 gallon per hour pump and then you take in consideration you're going to be pumping that up a good six feet and it's going to cut you back I think somewhere around between seven and eight hundred gallons per hour. So that's why I'm recommending that pump uh, for this system and you can you know if you get a little bit uh, I wouldn't get one any less you know, get one a little bit bigger that's fine and uh, if you get one a lot bigger <laughs> And I would probably use the larger siphons. I would probably just go with the, the one and a quarter inch, you know, or you can go with the two inch siphon if you want to, the ABS siphon, or you can use the bell siphon if, if that, uh, what cranks your tractor. That you can look on the specs of the 1350 gallon per hour uh, Easy Pro pump and you can get one just like it and made by, you know, Joe Blow and Jimmy Joe or whatever uh, system, whatever type of pump uh, that you happen to like. That's just the one I'm recommending, and, and you can do your own research and see what you want to do. But I wanted to come up with a system, you know, <clears throat> what to get for IBC totes, what type of pump to use, what size siphon to use to try to take all the guesswork out so somebody starting from scratch, you know, can have a good base to start with and then figure out, you know, the direction they want to go from there after they, uh, you know, use it and get a little experience and then they can you know say well i, I want to try this or that or the other and, and then they can do whatever they want just give you a good starting point uh I said two 300 gallon totes three 275 gallon totes uh just you know stick her up on some block i cut my i made mine a little bit deeper and i was using these uh i saw somebody doing uh something similar to this and i thought well i can just take and leave a little bit sticking up instead of cutting this off level here and just put a T right over it and I'm using three quarter inch pipe and it costs about $15 uh, per grow bed to put these T's and this three quarter inch pipe around it but you know keeps you from getting cut and it you know protects the water from getting down in there and, and rusting your uh, steel and so and it gives it a little bit of a finished look so Ooh, looks like I've got some mosquitoes in there. I'm going to have to get things going quickly. <laughs> or I'm going to get eaten up out here. Anyway, that's the system. And uh, I'll be going over uh, part, I guess this will be part one, you know, a basic setup. And then uh, I guess I'll probably end up with about uh, two more parts to it. Tr try to break it down and try to do a better job of explaining how to do this and uh, I'm gonna skip basic things like bridge siphons and different things that I may mention that are that are covered you know uh, elsewhere I, I you know my videos I'm just trying to cover what isn't covered somewhere else and so thanks for listening